Welcome back medicos. In the previous video, I have explained about the potential vacancies in Tamil Nadu for round 2 counselling due to dual allotments. That is a single candidate getting allotment in both government quota and management quota. And I explain because of this dual allotment, there will be a minimum of 50 seats vacant for round 2. That will be a minimum of 50 seats. Of course, it could be more than that in case if a candidate does not join both government quota and management quota. If you assume that they choose at least one of those seats, then we will have minimum 50 vacancies. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about more vacancies due to seats that were unallotted in round one counseling. Now, why seats were unallotted? Because there are not enough candidates. Let's say, let's take a particular branch in a particular college. Let's say there are two seats are available. If you don't have even two candidates asking for that seat, let's say only one candidate asking for that seat, then the other seat will fall vacant because there is no demand for that seat. So due to this less demand for certain branches in certain colleges, we have nearly 144 seats vacant in Tamil Nadu counseling. So 144 plus 50. So a minimum of 194 seats will be available for round two. Certainly it will be much, much more than this. But these are all minimum guarantee. Minimum 200 seats on the minimum vacancies round two. We will see branch wise which branch has a lot of vacancies and in each branch which college has the vacancy. And we will also see whether the vacancies are under the service category or non-service category. Let's get into the details. Come. So these are the unallotted seats in Tamil Nadu round one counseling 2024. And I have shown you the breakdown by whether there are seats under CMC 20%, whether there are seats under the open category that is non-service candidates and how many seats are vacant under the service category. And as you could see that most of the vacancies or most of the unallotment has happened under the service category. Now let's look at branch wise how many seats are available. Of course, I have arranged it in terms of uh, maximum vacancy for service category at the top. So you could see that general surgery has the maximum vacancy. There are 16 seats vacant under service category. At the second position, we have anatomy where there are three open seats and 12 service category. Ophthalmology has 10 seats vacant, all of them under service. Pathology has 10 service seats vacant. Physiology, two open seats and nine service seats. Biochemistry, one open and nine service. Microbiology, one open and nine service. Community medicine has eight. Torino laryngology has eight. Orthopedics has seven. Anesthesiology has seven. Pharmacology has one open seat and seven service seats. General medicine has six vacant seats under service category. Gynecology has four. Emergency medicine, forensic medicine and psychiatric medicine each has three seats vacant. Pediatrics two, family medicine one, radiology one, radiation oncology one. So totally we have 144 seats, eight seats under the open category and 136 seats under service category. Under CMC 20 percentage, that is the Tamil Nadu Christian category, there are no seats currently vacant. Of course, if candidates don't join, then there will be vacancies. This is based on the seats that are not allotted. There is no demand for the seats. These are all the vacancies. Now let's go into individual branches and see which colleges have the vacancies. Let's look at general surgery. In general surgery, as I said, 16 service seats are vacant. Let's look at the colleges. Tirichi SRM has four. Mugambika has three. Dhanalakshmi Srinivasan, two. Madha has two. Mel Marvathur Adi Parasakti has two. Then three colleges has one seat each. That is Muttukumaran, Karpaga Vinayaga and Tagore. So these are the 16 seats under general surgery. Let's look at anatomy. Anatomy, Mel Marvathur Adi Parasakti has one non-service seat and two service seats. Arunai Medical College also has one non-service and two service category. 
Kadalur Medical College, that is uh, Raja Muttaya Medical College or Government Medical College, Kadalur, it has one seat vacant. Mukambika has one seat. CMC Vellur has one seat. Dhanalakshmi Srinivasan, Tanjavur Medical College, all these have one seat vacant. Trichy SRM has one service and one non service seat vacant. Karpaga Venayaka and Trichy Government Medical College both have one seat vacant. So, MD anatomy, you have vacancies even in government medical colleges, not only private medical colleges. MS ophthalmology, there are 10 seats vacant. All the 10 seats are under service category. Joseph I Hospital, Trichy has two seats. The remaining colleges all have one seat vacant. Aravind I Hospital, Madurai has one seat vacant. Tagur Medical College, MMC also have one seat vacant under ophthalmology. Surprising, MMC has one seat vacant for ophthalmology. Sri Mugambiga, Karpaga Vinayaga, Trichy Saram, Karpagam and Madha Medical College, all these have one seat vacant. MD Pathology, once again, 10 seats vacant, all are service seats. PSG has two seats vacant. All the other colleges have one seat vacant. That is Velammal, Tagu, Sri Mugambika, Dhanalakshmi Srinivasan, Tirichi Asaram, Karpaga Vinayaga, Government Medical College, Kadalur, and Government Medical College, Kwantur. All these have one seat vacant. So there are two seats vacant in Government Medical Colleges, also under pathology. Now looking at physiology, uh, there are two non-service seats and nine service seats are available. Arunai Medical College has one open seat and two service seats vacant. The remaining colleges have one seat vacant, that is PSG, Velammal, CMC Vello, Sri Mukambika, Government Medical College Kadalur, Karpaga Venayaga, Mel Maruthur Adi Parasakti, and Tirichi Asaram. All these have one seat vacant. In Tirichi Asaram, we have a non service seat vacant. MD Biochemistry, there are 10 seats vacant, one seat under non service, and nine seats under service category. Arunai Medical College has two service seats vacant. All the other colleges have just one seat vacant. That is Annapurna Medical College, Tirichi Asaram, Mel Maruthur Adi Parasakti. Sri Mugambiga, Dhanalakshmi Srinivasan, Vela Mal, ESI Medical College, Chennai, uh, Government Medical College, Trichy. Government Medical College, Trichy has one non-service seat vacant for MD Biochemistry. MD Microbiology, once again, there are 10 seats vacant, 9 seats under service, 1 seat under non-service. Trichy SRM has one seat vacant, PSG 1, Annapurna has one, Arunai Medical College has one, Tagur Medical College has two seats vacant, one under service, one under non-service. Dhanalakshmi Srinivasan, Velammal, Karpagam and Melmaruthur Adi Prasakti all have one seat vacant under service category. MD Community Medicine has eight seats vacant, all the eight seats are under service category. Tirichi Asaram, Muttukumaran, Mugambika, Dhanalakshmi Srinivasan, Tagur, Karpagavinayaga, Arunai and Karpagam. Each one has one seat vacant. MS Torino Laryngology once again has eight seats vacant across eight different colleges. Velammal, Muttukumaran, Mugambika, Karpagam, Trichy Asaram, Madha, Dhanalakshmi Srinivasan and Government Medical College Salem. Government Medical College Salem also has one seat vacant under MS Torino Laryngology. MS Orthopedics has seven seats vacant across seven different colleges. Government Medical College Kadalur, Tagur Medical College, Mel Maruthur Adi Parasakti, Dhanalakshmi Srinivasan, Tirichi Asaram, Karpaga Venayaga, and Madha Medical College. Each has one seat vacant. MD Anesthesiology has seven seats vacant. Dhanalakshmi Srinivasan has two seats vacant. All the other colleges have one seat vacant. That is Sri Mugambiga, PSG, Government Dharmaburi Medical College, SRM Trichi, and Madha Medical College. All these have one seat vacant. MD Pharmacology has eight seats vacant. All the colleges have one seat only. There are eight colleges where one seat each vacant. Trichy Asaram, Mugambika, Melmarvatu, Government Medical College, Kadalur, Tagur, Dhanalakshmi, Srinivasan, Annapurna. All these have one seat vacant under service category, whereas Karpagam has one seat under the open, non-service category. MD General Medicine has six seats vacant, all of them under service category. SRM Trichy has three service seats are vacant. Muttukumaran one, Karpaga Venayaga one, Mugambika one. So totally six seats are vacant. Gynecology has four seats vacant under service category across four colleges. SRM Trichy, Melmaruthur Adi Parasakti, Dhanalakshmi Srinivasan. 
and kanyakumari government medical college has also one seat vacant for gynecology emergency medicine has three seats vacant in karpaga vinayaga government medical college tirunelveli and sri mogambika forensic medicine has three seats vacant at arunai medical college melmaruvuttur adiparasakti and esi kk nagar chennai md psychiatric medicine has three seats vacant uh, one at dhanalakshmi srinivasan one at psg one at madha medical college md pediatrics has only two seats vacant one at mukambika institute and another one is at cmc vellore then uh, family medicine has one seat vacant in cmc vellore radiology has one seat vacant at tagur medical college and then md radiation oncology has one seat vacant at adayar cancer institute so that adds up to 136 seats under service category and eight open seats that is non service category now these 144 seats will again be available in round 2 and it will be presented so let me know your comments what are your thoughts uh, let's discuss thank you bye bye